How's it going everyone? This is Tom of RebandPie.com. I have today the iPhone 5S and the iPhone 5 with me and I'm going to be doing a comparison between the gaming performance with the 64-bit processor, the A7 processor within the iPhone 5S and the 32-bit processor, the A6, within the iPhone 5. We're going to be using the app Infinity Blade 3 as I'm pretty sure it's currently the only app uh, optimized for the new 64-bit performance in the iPhone 5S. So it should make for an interesting comparison. So here we are, first of all we're going to be uh, taking a look out on the iPhone 5S. The main differences you're going to see with the 64-bit upgrade is that you're going to get a lot more detail in the minor aspects of the game. So uh, the main graphics, the overall graphics aren't going to be particularly different between the two, however it's a much more immersive gaming experience due to the fact that you get a lot of more features that you won't get on the 5. For example in uh, reflection Reflections and uh, anti-aliasing, there's a lot more detail being added and more detail being paid attention to by the developers and designers that is allowed on the iPhone 5S that the iPhone 5S processor can actually handle, whereas on the iPhone 5 it just couldn't do that. I'm not totally sure how well this is actually translating over my camera and over your screen because there's definitely bottlenecking going on here. However, you might just have to take my word for it that I have spent a little while playing around with both phones uh, and uh, I do actually notice the difference from the 5S to the 5 on Infinity Blade 3. It's definitely not huge, but it is there. It mainly just makes it a little bit of a more immersive experience and I would imagine that extra games in the future will take more advantage of the 64-bit integration of the iPhone 5S more than Infinity Blade 3, but it is impressive to see just how much extra processing the iPhone 5S is capable of. So for comparison's sake here, here is the iPhone 5 running the same game, uh, it is the same version of Infinity Bay 3, just this is the 32-bit optimised version. So you're going to see a little bit less detail, uh, maybe as I said you probably won't be able to notice it too much, especially over a bottleneck system due to the fact that for example I'm exporting this in 720p. But if anything comes from this, it's to give credit to the iPhone 5 because the processor in it is a lot slower, it's about half the speed of the uh, iPhone 5S. So it really does it credit that it actually handles the gaming uh, Infinity Blade 3 anyway up to the standard that it actually does There's no lag with either of these phones I would say that when you happen to get your hands on an iPhone 5s definitely try this app out See what you think about the difference in quality between the iPhone 5 I'm definitely noticing it, but as I've mentioned before it just doesn't seem like an enormous amount Lastly here we have a bit of fun Here's the iPhone 5s on the bottom and the iPhone 5 on the top and uh, I've tried and pretty much just failed to play both of these games simultaneously. Uh, you'll see the first fight, I don't know if anyone's ever died on the first boss of Infinity Blade 3, uh, but I did. So it's actually surprisingly difficult and uh, I would urge you to try it if you have two iPhones. Hopefully you can see the differences. Uh, it's just kind of extra details in the clouds and maybe on the weapons that you'll notice. I'll just shut up and let you enjoy this for a few seconds. There we have it guys, I think that pretty much wraps it up for this comparison. I think if we take anything away from this, it's going to be that the iPhone 5S is going to be an absolute powerhouse when it comes to gaming, but to its credit, the iPhone 5 definitely keeps up, whether it will or not in the future when more apps become 64-bit remains to be seen. Hopefully you have enjoyed and or found this video helpful. If you have, definitely go ahead and drop it a like. It really helps out the channel. Subscribe to the Red and Pie TV YouTube channel if you haven't done already. Uh, we cover lots of stuff like this, and we've actually covered a lot already on the iPhone 5S if, if you want to check all of those videos out. Follow Red and Pie on all of the social places. Those links are down below, and we will catch you in the next one.